Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God for his goodness. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for your church that it may be transformed by your goodness amongst us. We pray for humility and obedience to your word, for grace to forgive mistakes and compassion for the needs of others. We pray that you will take our fearful emptiness and fill us with faith in your power and provision for us all. May you bless all bishops, priests and deacons and enable them and us to proclaim with boldness your death and resurrection so that all may turn to you and be saved. Lord, we bring before you the selection process for a new vicar for this parish. We ask that you will bless and guide both the candidates and the interviewers so that the person of your choosing may be appointed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, today we pray for all who are preparing for marriage this year, asking that you will stand alongside them in the decisions and promises they make. We pray for all who have already made their promises before you, that you will protect and sustain them in their life together. We pray for those facing marriage difficulties or the pain of divorce, asking that each may seek you in their distress and confusion about the future. May you bring them your healing and your renewal in faith and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that your presence may transform our homes, that they may be places of love, joy and security. We give you thanks for friends and loved ones who have blessed our lives with their goodness. We pray that in our communities, we may share what we have and meet each other's needs. We pray for the unemployed, the homeless, families facing debt and hunger. Lord, transform the way we live so that all may be provided for and have enough. We ask for your blessing on the work of local organisations, on NOAA, Youthscape, the Level Trust and the Luton Food Bank. May they provide generously to the people of Luton and may we give them our support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the King of Kings. So we pray for the nations of the world that their leaders may come to acknowledge your power and authority. And we pray that those living under the darkness of oppression will be freed. We pray that those struggling to recognise your truth will receive understanding of your ways. We pray that those suffering persecution will be protected and rescued. Lord, we bring before you the government of this country, asking that you will guide ministers and MPs in their debates and decision-making, so that we all may be blessed with health and prosperity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we remember before you all who have run out of resources, the hungry and thirsty people of this world, that they may receive generously from others. We remember the exhausted, 
and all who can no longer cope on their own. Especially the doctors and nurses in our hospitals and A and E services. May they find rest for recovery and healing for themselves. We remember all who are in trouble or in sickness. Giving thanks where healing is taking place and praying for your gracious healing touch for those who continue to suffer. We pray for Jeannie Gentle's grandson, for Sally and Ray Philpot, for Carol and Joe Laidler, and for Helen Gregg. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 